Here are the top five credit cards to get from beginner credit to advanced. These cards are gonna be the best cards with one, developing the right relationships with the right banks, building up your credit the fastest, having the highest credit limits, having top tier perks, and eventually getting business credit funding. Looking forward to talking to you guys. My name's Miggle. I spent over hundreds of hours studying and working over three years and researching the credit funding, travel, and hacking, and repair game. So through this process, I've learned how to get over $250,000 in 0% interest business credit funding, how to get negatives removed off your profile, get an 800 plus credit score, and be able to travel the world absolutely free using credit card points. But the thing is with credit, most people are just unaware that these type of cards even exist and that they could get you these type of benefits. So in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through exactly which top personal credit cards to focus on that are going to build up your credit limits and your credit scores the fastest, have the best benefits so that you could get these free first class flights and hotels and be able to get more business credit funding once you're ready to start applying for those big boy cards. So. I'll be giving you guys my review on each of these cards, a little summary of the most important rewards and benefits and perks the cards have, the sign-on bonuses, the exact order in which to get them, and the exact requirements you need to have in order to get approved for them. So all I ask is if you guys get any value from this video at all, please make sure to go share it with any friends or family who might benefit from it. Um, give it a like, subscribe to the channel. I do all this for you guys, and it it just means the world getting a lot of great feedback from you guys. Um, also, if you guys think it's totally crappy, <laughs> um, let me know in the comments. Let me know how I could, I could do better. I'm, I'm always open to feedback. Um, but if you have any questions, leave them in the comments as well. I'm always here to help. Um, but yeah, perfect. As usual, this is MTV. The M is for Miggle, Money, Motivation. Let's get into it. So something I want to note for these list of cards I'm going to mention, the criteria on why I believe these are by far the best cards to get are based off of a couple key factors um, when we're going down this list. So one, we want to create a relationship with the top tier national banks. They typically provide the most competitive rates and benefits as opposed to these smaller tier banks. Number two, most of these banks offer 0% business credit cards that you're going to want to take advantage of at some point you decide on applying for funding with them later because you've already established that relationship. They're going to see you as a more trustworthy bar to give you more funding on the business side since you've already established that relationship and trust on the personal side. Lastly, the most value you get from these cards are usually either from cash back or travel slash point earnings. Typically, you're going to get the most value when you redeem it for travel, but if you don't do too much traveling, then you can always redeem the points or other benefits for, for cash back. But you guys are gonna wanna stick to the very end because I have one bonus card that are gonna be the mother of all perks, plus I'm going to give away some free data points that are gonna help you get approved for higher credit limits on these cards. So it's one thing to get approved for the card, but if you're getting approved and you're only getting, let's say like a 2K credit limit, like who the, like what the heck are you gonna use with that? So um, I'm gonna give you some data points that personally helped me be able to get approved for 10, 15, 20K plus uh, credit limits on these type of cards. All right, that's enough talking. Let's get into it. Top five personal credit cards. Number one, we are starting with, drum roll please, we got the US Bank Secured Altitude Card. So no one is talking about this brand new secret secured credit card. It's perfect for building up your credit fast and it's also super easy to get approved for. So here are the specs on it, right? Um, it's a secured card, so right, there is, it's not like your normal revolving line of credit. It's basically like a debit card that is going to help boost up your credit 
Um, so it's basically like a debit card. Just remember, you got to preload some money on it to collateralize it. But this is a really cool card because it's zero dollar annual fee. And it actually comes with uh, benefits and perks versus like a normal debit card. They don't reward you for crap <laughs> when you use it. So you get 4x points on dining and takeout. That's huge. 2x at groceries and gas station. 1x on everything else. And then you get a $15 streaming credit. So if you got Hulu, Disney Plus, Netflix or whatever, uh, $15 of that. Anytime they see those streaming services, they're going to debit your or credit your account $15. So you basically get Netflix for free. So really cool. Um, other big thing is no foreign transaction fees. That's pretty dope. So if you're out traveling, they aren't going to charge you a bunch of, you know, some percentage or whatever anytime you're using that card. So some, some banks do make you pay that. So that's pretty cool that U.S. Bank doesn't do that. Um, again, another cool thing is this bank has a 0% business credit card. It is for 18 months. So that's a year and a half of 0% that you'd be able to invest in something. Um, so we want to establish a relationship with them early on. No better way to do it that with the U.S. Bank Altitude card. So in regards of being able to get approved, here are the requirements. You could have really crappy credit and still get approved. Again, it's a secured card, so they know the people reaching out. This is for people who are just starting out with credit or you know they screwed up their credit and they need to rebuild it. So that's why the requirements are pretty easy to get into. So that's the Altitude card. Number two is, drum roll, we got the Freedom Unlimited card. So this is with Chase Bank. Some specs they have, it's also $0 annual fee. You get 0% for 15 months. So you can invest it um, or pay down balances on other cards. So you're not paying any interest on it. Um, my only recommendation with this is you never wanna have more than 30% utilization on your person, each of your personal credit cards. So. Just don't max it out if you're going to take advantage of that 0% um, offer because your score is just going to radically go down. And obviously, we don't want to have that happen. Um, and then 1.5% cash back on everything for the first year up to 20 k So that's $300 free, basically. Um, when you spend that much, you get $300 total. And then within the first year, you also get 6 and a half percent cash back on travel through their portal, 4.5% on drugstores and dining. And after the first year, it's 5% travel, 3% drugstore and dining. So definitely this first year, you're gonna wanna run up the crap out of that card and just take advantage of all those increased percentages for uh, the points and the cash back. Um, in regards to requirements, this one, right, um, Chase Bank is a really awesome bank. Um, they, aren't, they aren't just giving out cards to anyone with poor credit. So you need to be around that minimum 690 score and up. Um, my review for this card is it's a great beginner travel hacking card. It gives you access to their online portal. Start using those points. Start using that to book those, um, those flights and hotels. And what I really like about this too is we're – able to develop that relationship with Chase Bank. And we wanna prioritize doing that as soon as possible because they have what's called the five and 24 rule. Basically, that means you can't have more than five personal credit cards open within the last 24 months. So if you're past that, doesn't matter with which banks, if you have like six Amex cards within the last 24 months, they will not, you'll get an automatic denial from uh, Chase. And Chase has a lot of great benefits and perks that Chase and Amex are probably the top two uh, banks in the U.S., uh, I, I would say. Um, but Chase, they give really high credit limits on the business side as well. And they have great customer support. So Chase Bank, Freedom Unlimited, really good. Number three, we've got the Chase Southwest Rapids Rewards. So... Let's get into this one. So honestly, I recommend having a flight card, um, especially if you're gonna be doing this travel hacking game, but you can choose whichever ones. You know, there's plenty of other airlines, but for me, I really like Chase's lineup. You could go with United. I personally really love Southwest. Amex, they got Delta, so it's totally up to you. This is purely just my opinion, um, but this may be an unpopular opinion, but 
The best flight card is definitely Southwest. Um, I use the Premier card. Why? Is because they're really great for budget travelers, right? You get two free check bags, um, free carry-on, flexible cancellation. So it's really cool. I really like what they're doing uh, with their whole setup. It's, it's a lot different um, experience because you, you also don't get assigned seating, which is really cool. Um, you can just kind of sit wherever. Um, the Southwest is really cool. So here's their specs. They do charge a $99 annual fee. It's totally worth it. You get 50K bonus uh, after you spend 1K in the first three months. Super easy to get. Um, 6K anniversary points each year. So that could pay for a one-way flight depending on where you're going each year. So boom, free travel right there. And then you get 3X on Southwest purchases, 2X on ride shares, and then you get two early bird check-ins each um, each year. No foreign transaction fees. That's cool. Um, again, requirements. You want to be around a 690 and up. Uh, but my review for this card is this is purely opinion-based, but plenty of other great airlines. But I'm a ride or die, uh, and I support the crap out of Southwest. Um, I just lo love how flexible and easygoing they are. So that's number three. Or what is that? No, actually, yep, that's number three. Sorry. <laughs> um, next on the list, we've got Amex. Let's get into it. So this card is going to earn you thousands of dollars in travel points. So apply for the Amex Gold. They also have the Rose Gold. They're basically the same card. You get just kind of get to choose what they look like. But this one is a little bit higher for the annual fee. We got $250. Um, you get a 60K bonus points after you spend $4,000 in the first six months. Um, and you get 4X points on restaurants and supermarkets, 3X points on flights booked through Amex portal, and you get $120 worth of Uber cash a year. So boom, you're already paying like more than half or about half of the annual fee just with that. Um, no foreign transaction fees, $120 dining credit. Like this right here already pays back <laughs> for the value of the card, which is pretty cool. Um, Amex, they're, yeah, like I said, Chase and Amex are like the best banks you want to have relationships. You do not want to ruin that with them. Um, when you apply, make sure you have a 690 plus. Um, my review for this card is it is a charge card, basically not like a normal revolving line of credit where there's a preset spending limit, like a 10K, 20K credit limit. This with a charge card, it just means your limits increase as you spend more on it and make the payments on it each month. So with this card, use with caution and be responsible just because if you think, hey, I have like unlimited uh, um, credit limits on this, you know, some people might start spending very irresponsibly, but I know you guys aren't going to do that because you guys follow me. I, I, I preach the credit, be responsible and you, you guys won't have any problems with that. But that's the Amex card, the Amex Gold. Now, coming back to Chase, this one card saved me over 10K in flights alone. If you love to travel, this card is the mother of all travel cards. By far my favorite. I use it anytime I can. This one is the Notorious Chase Sapphire Reserve. So... This does come in with a pretty big hit, $550 annual fee, but it pays for itself. This is a really incredible card. Um, so 60K bonus points after you spend 4K within the first three months, kind of like the MX Gold, but the MX Gold, you get more time. If you can't spend that 4K within the first three months, don't worry. Um, you could always call the number on the back of the card and ask for an extension. You know, as long as you're nice, you have a good reason why you need it, they'll they'll be very flexible with you guys. Um, you get a $300 annual travel credit. So that means anything that's labeled as a travel expense will get written off for $300. So the $550 you paid, you're already getting $300 of value right off the bat. So that could be like Ubers, flights, hotels, anything like that. 5X points on flights and 10X on hotels and cars when purchased through the travel portal. So just make sure you're on Chase's travel portal when booking and paying it with this card. And then 3X on other travel and dining. I always pay the bill and get people to Venmo me. Um, 
whenever I'm going out to eat, I, I just take the track and get people to Venmo me on the spot. And I'm always racking up hella points on that one. And then you get one X on everything else. Um, other big thing is 50% more value when used through the chase portal. So 60 K points turns into $900, um, when you redeem it through the chase portal. So that's pretty cool. Uh, access to over 1.3 K airport lounges. So that's pretty cool. If you've ever been to an airport lounge, it's so nice. They, they get you taken care of. There's a lot of cool amenities like food, um, sometimes drinks, um, and just places to kind of like sit back versus being in like those cr cramped, um, airport areas. Um, excuse me. Next big thing that I really love is the travel insurance. So they have the auto rental collision damage waiver, lost luggage, and a bunch of other travel insurance. Like anytime I'm booking, um, like a car rental, I, I travel hacked it. I, I get I only pay like a fourth of the cost for what is it? Uh, national. But usually you have the they try to tag on all these fees for insurance and whatever cost per day it is, it basically doubles with all those fees. This kind of waives that auto rental collision damage waiver um, because it's covered by the card. You just gotta make sure you you put the you pay with this card when you're getting a car rental. Other big thing is TSA pre-check. Um, or global entry, you gotta choose one or the other. Um, that gets debited back to your account. Um, this does require a lot higher credit limit. You know, you want to be coming in with at least a 720 and up for your best odds. Um, and as far as my review, this is the best. I, I use this thing all the time. <laughs> it's the first card I see in, in my wallet. Um, pretty cool stuff. Um, now if you guys have stuck this far, I appreciate you guys. <laughs> um, we went through those top five and I did mention how I have a bonus one for you guys. So we made it to the bonus card. Drum roll, please. We've got the new Wells Fargo built card. So this is really cool because, you know, what if just by paying your rent, you could fund your next vacation, night out, or even your next house? Crazy, right? Uh, the Wells Fargo built credit card is the first of its kind to reward you for paying your rent. And best part is there's no fees. So like literally, you know, people are spending thousands of dollars every month, you know, paying that rent with no benefits. So this is really cool. Um, there's no fees to pay the rent. You get 5X on Lyft, 3X on dining, 2X on travel, 1X on rent, 1X on everything else. So like that's very comparable to some of the, like the, the Chase and Amex cards, those are pretty high points uh, earnings for that. And it doesn't have a, uh, any fees, so that's really dope. Um, you could pay with rent with points too or your home down payment or travel. So as you accumulate more and more points, those have a, um, a dollar cost uh, associated with those points and you could use that to pay off your rent or your down payment for if you're purchasing a home. Um, other big thing is, they're, they have different tiers of perks. So the more you use it, they, they give you more and more benefits um, and more point earnings. So it's really cool. For this, you wanna have a 700 plus for best odds of getting approved. And my review for this is, it is definitely a 100% a must have if you're renting, right? If you own a home, um, unfortunately, it doesn't work for mortgages, at least just yet. Um, We'll see if they change that in the future, but I'm currently using this card to pay for three rents for my Airbnb arbitrage business. And this is racking up mad points every month. So one thing to know is you have to make five purchases a month to qualify for rental points. Um, so if you only use it just for the rental and you didn't rental uh, expense and you've never put any other um, purchases on there, then it will not count. So my suggestion for you is, you know, take five subscriptions that you have on your iPhone or like Netflix, Spotify or whatever, and just bill it to this automatically. That way, you know, you're guaranteed those points every time. Uh, you know, you could buy like five sticks of gum at, at 7-Eleven or something like that. Something super cheap. It doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, guys, that is the top five personal credit cards to have in your arsenal. Um, 
I did mention something earlier. I was going to share some awesome data points with you. So, um, you know, it's one thing to get approved for a card, but it's another to get high personal credit card limits on it. And something I put on my applications is, you know, if I'm making around like 100 to 150K a year, like just kind of estimating ballpark, I like to be optimistic with my income. So, um, I, you know, I don't want to sell myself short to the bank. So I wouldn't be like, if I'm making around 100 to 150, I'm not going to say, oh, I'm, I'm making like 90 or 100K. You know, I, I put myself more on the higher end of that um, just because my income is changing all the time and I'm always working on growing it. So anytime I'm applying for these cards, um, you know, I put like 150K, I believe, for because it asks you your income. And whatever you put on your income is going to determine it influences how much you're going to get approved for the credit limit. So I put, I, th I believe it was like 150 K automatic approval, super high credit limit. I think I got like 15, 20 K for the built card. So really cool stuff. Um, but yeah, guys, those are the benefits, the perks. Thanks for sticking around for that bonus card and that, that free game <laughs> on the data points. Try that out for yourself. Um, I use that data point and, and it works really well for me. So just to kind of summarize everything. So what did we learn? We learned that this credit card sequence is the exact order you want to apply for these cards. You know, if your credit sucks, go for the secured card and then go for those lower cards with the uh, top banks like uh, Chase Freedom and then go for those big boy bank cards with the higher uh, annual fees because they do require a uh, uh, much better credit score. Um, and again, these are rated the best based off of the perks and the facts that they have 0% business credit cards that we're going to apply for later. So we want to develop that relationship. And now that we have that relationship, when we do apply for funding, we're going to get a crap ton of 0% uh, credit limits for them. So here's the call to action. So if you got any value, please like, comment, subscribe, share this with a friend that could use it. Um, and make sure to use my referral links. Uh, we'll both get rewarded. And check out the credit resources I have down below in the description. But once again, thank you guys so much for sticking around. Uh, this video is pretty long. I'm feeling out of breath by now, so I'm just going to end it. But as usual, this is MTV. The M is for Miggle, Money, Motivation. Peace out, much love. Stay beautiful, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.